Hello, I'm Keith Ford. And I'm Paul Levy, and today we've got another gun from the vault. Keith, what, do I, what am I holding right here? You are holding a Smith & Wesson 76. Okay, and what's the backstory on this guy? I'm not really familiar with this uh, submachine gun. Okay, this right here, uh, the U.S. Navy went to Smith & Wesson in 1966 after the Swedish government cut off supplies of the Swedish K. Uh, the Navy was using the Swedish K for SEAL team operations okay. in Vietnam and Sweden, since they were neutral, did not like our involvement in the war, so they filed a protest and pretty much cut off all supplies of the guns. And, and make the, them on our own, then. Yep, make them on our own. So the Navy went to uh, Smith & Wesson and said, we need a gun that's reliable, cheap, easy to work on, and we need it quick. So after about nine months, they come out with this right here. And so I do have a Swedish K right okay, here, there you go. which is actually a Port Said model. Sweden set up a manufacturing operation in Port Said, Egypt, for a Swedish K. But we can see the differences right here. Stock right here is a little more substantial. So both of them had pretty simple stocks here mm -hmm. on the, the Smith & Wesson. You basically just pull up in either direction, then it locks in place on this little yep. ledge here. And I will say, there's a lot of play in that thing. <laughs> yeah, it was just just, uh, yeah. just to get it up there. Now the Swedish K, it's a tubular that's been stamped down right here. Mm -hmm. They're a little heavier, a little more substantial gun right there. But that wasn't the main thing on it. They were just needing the gun quick and dirty and to get it going. Yeah. And you can kind of see the similarities of the firearms right here. Uh, Smith & Wesson, the gentleman who designed this at Smith, said he had never seen one of these before. Huh. So you can kind of see similarities, but it's, it is yeah. what it is. Uh, pretty rudimentary sight. The Swede here, we have adjustable rear sight. Smith & Wesson is fixed. Probably a little bit more appropriate anyways for a submachine gun. It's basically a piece of stamping, and then they, they cut yep. out the peep, cut out the notch, and that front sight is pretty cool. It's just half bent up. Mm -hmm. half, half bent up. That's good, good enough. Yep. Uh, this one right here, it is adjustable on these. Mm -hmm. That one right there is just a fixed sight. Uh, one thing that's cool about the Swedish K is that you can pull this out right here and then use the, uh, the drum mags. Okay, wow. And no, no, no. so with the Smith & Wesson right here, you just had a stick mag got right the there. Mag. And then you got your uh, magazine release, which kind of folds down out of the way. Mm -hmm. you stick the magazine, magazine in, it'll come down and then push up on it yep. to release. And right here on the Swede, it's awfully similar like there. Awfully similar for <laughs> something that no one has ever seen one of these before yeah, <laughs> to design yeah. it. Uh, these are all open bolt mm -hmm. and they have a selector right here on the side. So full, semi, safe, safe. right there. Yep. And that locks it up. Yes, sir. And then on full, then you can charge it mm -hmm. and put it back on safe if you so desire. Yep. Pretty interesting controls, and it is open bolt. Yes. My glove gets stuck down in there. <laughs> but simple. I mean, they worked. They were uh, good guns. Uh, they stayed in production to about 1974, okay. and that was the end of that project. Yeah. And then I noticed just yeah the construction, a lot of welds, mm -hmm. simple welds, but. Nicely done, like here, I assume that's the ejector right there yeah. welded in place, and you got your sling swivels. Mm -hmm. uh, simple, robust. Yep, they worked. I mean, they were, they're not pretty guns, but they, they're cool. Yep. So that's the Smith & Wesson 76. Thank you to Rock On for letting us take a peek at this, and next time we'll see you when we get another gun from, from the vault. vault.